What's up, everybody? Uh, Koye Media once again, jumping in with a film session on Dayton Jones. Uh, this diagram here just shows you guys what technique or, or what uh, tech that these guys are playing. You see right now he's playing one tech, obviously, because he's lined up right over the center sh shoulder on either side. That's one. Uh, when you're in between the guard and the tackle, that's three. You know, over top of the guard, two. Inside the guard, two eye or two inside, and so on and so forth. Um, you see here he's 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 playing a standing three uh, in Dom Capers defense. And Dom actually uh, uh, asks his guys to be a little bit more versatile than other teams because he he uses exotic looks to disguise his coverages and disguise his defenses. When really he's not even he's not really running three four or four three. I don't know really what he's doing. It's just like a hybrid style defense they run over there in Green Bay. But he asks his front four to be able to move around and that's crucial uh, most of them move three four positions and, and that's great for us because we have a guy who's literally played and you see how he just bench pressed Jason Peters there uh, that just shows his raw strength uh, that's very difficult to do but he's played everywhere outside linebacker defensive end three four defensive end uh, four three defensive end one technique nose tackle uh, three tech he, he's all over the place and I love that about him. He's sort of like Crawford for us, but I think he's actually a little bit stronger and more explosive than Crawford, to be honest with you. Um, and a little, and, and he forces more turnovers. He's he's a guy that when he touches you, a lot like Jeff Heath, when he touches you, good things happen for us, man. And I like that about him. Uh, here in the three technique, you'll see he's just as uh, just as effective. It doesn't matter where you put him. He's going to use sixty nine here to throw Shady McCoy back into the backfield. You see how he closes this gap up? Boom. And he, someone else makes the tackle, of course, but this is all Deton Jones. He stands his guy up and, and kind of carries him to the ball carrier. That is textbook. Um, here he's playing defensive end, uh, left end. He sets the edge as he's supposed to. He, he's gonna, he, he should be getting upfield a little bit. The guy's blocking him pretty good, but he sheds him. And now he's going to chase the ball to the perimeter and make the tackle. He, one thing about Dayton Jones, he moves very well, very well, very fast for a guy that's 285, 295 as, as, during the season uh, at 6'5". He moves pretty good. Um, here you see he was playing outside linebacker. Um, he Again, I, as I said, they, they asked him to do a lot over there in Green Bay. I'm not sure why he's not playing over there right now because he, he, only, he only played spot work, but he looked pretty good. This is him at, at right outside linebacker, I mean left outside linebacker. Uh, you see the closing speed there. That's Teddy Bridgewater. He's not slow. He gets in there and he, he makes the slack. Um, but I like him because they, they ask this guy to move around so much, and no matter where you put him, uh, he's he's disruptive. You know, he has the experience. He's calm but assertive. He has like a controlled aggression about him, and that's a boxing term, but he has it. You know, he's a guy that he, he looks like he's playing all out reckless, but he knows what he's doing. He's cerebral with that, and that's what I call a controlled aggression. Um, here, playing defensive end again, traditional. Um, he comes inside. This is 3-4 defensive end, or, or four technique. Uh, comes inside, flushes uh, Teddy Bridgewater out of the pocket. Clay Matthews and, and, and Jones should have gotten a sack there, but uh, they, they took you know a poor, well, Clay took a poor angle, rather. Uh, there's the four tech. Again, well, that's actually three tech. I'm sorry. Uh, he he presses the pocket, collapses it, and then there's Bridgewater again. You you, you notice how explosive and how strong uh, Dayton Jones is, but there you see his motor. One thing you'll notice about him, he will. Ch that's what I was saying earlier. He will chase down plays. You'll notice he's never giving up on a play. Uh, he'll run into the backfield and then he'll chase it down. And this is how you deal with the chip here with with strength. This is something Taco can learn from. He deals with the chip uh, and his man and then still goes and makes a sack because he's relentless, strong, smart. I, I, the guy just, you know, can do it all. Here's the, here he is again at the three technique. Um, you know, I'm going to call these out as I see them uh, when, I, when I recognize them. Uh, there he is getting his hands up. But uh, as you can see, you know, it doesn't matter where you put them. It doesn't matter what you ask him to do. Um, and, and most think of him as a three tech guy now, but realize he can play left end. He can play right end. Uh, he's not your most explosive right end guy, but he's a guy that can 
you can put in there. He fights through the double team here, playing one tech, still disrupts this play. Here's one technique for us uh, last year and uh, against the Seattle Seahawks. Excellent play uh, from the one tech position. Uh, so, again, doesn't matter where you put him, he's effective. That's what I like about him. That's what I think Rob Marinelli and our team loves about him. He's fighting through a double team here. He's only 285, 290. He's not a nose tackle, but he plays the position well. Uh, it'll remind you of Jay Ratliff, even though we don't run a 3-4 now. Jay Ratliff was never a guy that was traditionally a, a one-tech guy, but he played it pretty well because of his tenacity and the angles that he took and the way Wade Phillips coaches it. And I think Rob Marinelli has that effect there. Uh, you see a, see him there uh, press the pocket back. Even though he's against second stringers there, they don't they don't really stand a chance. Uh, they didn't stand. I was actually at that game week 17. Um, they didn't stand a chance against our front four, no matter who we put in there. But uh, one thing, as I said, you, you guys will like about Dayton Jones again. He he shows a wide range of pass rush skills. He's solid against the run. He's uh, versatile. You can move him around. He's explosive. Uh, so for for me, uh, it's a no brainer. I don't care when you put him in. You can start the guy. You can rotate him in. You know, I don't see him starting week one, obviously, unless there's an injury. But he's not a guy that when I see him enter the field, sort of like uh, Kyle Wilbur, when I saw him enter the field, I was scared because I didn't like him playing. Um, but he's not a guy that you, you kind of cringe when you when you see him. You know, and that, there he is in the four-tech right there getting a sack. Four-tech again uh, against the Raiders. And he usually plays four-tech when we go wide nine. But he's not a guy that you're scared of starting, man. I, I like to see him in there. Um, there's not a lot of film out on him because he's not a starter, but um, I can't wait to see him this year. Uh, I know you guys can't wait You know, I, I hope this show wasn't too short for you, but like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you more. Okoye out.